Hello everybody, Rokebox here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 6. This is episode 14, and for today's episode, I'm going to be working on this area where I am currently standing. And as you can tell, I have a couple bunnies in the background who also want to see the work that's going to be done today. And I don't know how long they've been there. They've been there for quite some time. Not too long ago, these two were actually having a staring contest. But these bunnies have just been hanging out on these blocks uh, for quite some time. It's actually pretty funny. So, like I said, I'm going to be working on this area right here. It is a little bit built up, but of course I do have to finish it. And this area is going to be my new nether portal entrance. As you may know, my current nether portal entrance is over there inside the desert temple. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the inside of it just yet once I remove it. So there is the entrance that I've been coming in and out of for the season thus far. And this is still pretty empty. Again, not quite sure what I need to do. I do need to clean up these chests. I am slowly working on emptying these out. But what I want to do is take this entrance and make this the official nether portal entrance. Now, in the last episode, I did show that Eladrium did build these awesome palm trees that are going to hang right over this area. So these are very nice. Again, I love the way these look and just for my base area in general if I fly around it fills in the area quite nicely I also made that pyramid so yeah the palm trees are just going to hang right over this area and what I want this to be is a little kind of a central garden area so I'm planning on making some bushes some greenery over on these two sides and I'm going to have a little pond right here in the middle the first thing I need to do is to fill in this section right here, and I've been using yellow glaze terracotta. I was trying to think of a color scheme that would work best. Like I said, I do want this to be a garden area, so I want it to be a little more decorated than the rest of the area that's, you know, mainly just sandstone. Of course, I am incorporating sandstone on the outside, but I just wanted some color here. And now that the beacon's out of the way, I can kind of show how this is going to look. So once you step out of my portal... We're going to have a nice little pond right there. We're going to have some greenery on the sides. And then, of course, we are going to have the pyramids in the background. So I think that's going to look great. And let's see if I can place this down in the right direction. Nope. So we'll start with that. That way. That way. Break this one. And then go this way. Okay. So that is done. And then for this section... I tried using slabs just to save on materials because I can get two slabs out of this for every one block instead of just placing one block down. There's that. Now, for these two sides here, I am thinking of using moss blocks. So I did collect a few of those. I have more than eight, but I don't need to use them all because I know once I bone meal them, they are going to just spread and take over this dirt here. So I'm just going to do a few like that and a few over on this side. And I wonder if I'll actually scare the bunnies away. I kind of like having them. Oh, yep, that one's gone. The bunny's like, nope, I'm out of here. Got too close. <laughs> so let's place the dirt in right here. We still got those two that are, who knows what they're watching. But let's place the dirt in like this. And I'm pretty sure I don't have any bone meal on me at the moment. That would be helpful, seeing how I need to actually bone meal this. And I guess, uh, I don't think that needs to go when I bone meal this. I think I'll just turn the moss under it. And I think the sun's going down. Yes, it sure is. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep, get my bone meal, and then we will pick right back up when the sun rises. The sun is back up. And I'm going to go ahead and place that dirt block there. I got my bone meal, so let's go ahead and bone meal this. Oh, nice. Okay, that was more than I thought I was going to get. I'll take that. I don't need all of these, but I do want to keep one because I do want an azalea tree right in the center where that uh, moss carpet is. What is this actually called? I called it a moss. Oh, it is a moss carpet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, was like, it looks like it should be a carpet, but I don't know since it was moss. Oh, I guess it's not going to do that. What if I do it again? Nope. Okay. So we will do that. That's getting covered. All right. So, like I said, I don't need all of these. I'm going to go ahead and break these. I will need these for later. And, whoops, let's go ahead and get rid of the inner chest that is right in the middle of this. Break that. And 
covered with moss. All right. So don't plan on having grass like that. And I want this to be right in the center, right here on both sides. Right there. And I don't need these. And the center for this one is going to be right... I think this is six blocks. One, two, three, four... No, it's five. So right here. Okay. Now, fingers crossed, this grows in the right direction. I don't want it going this way. I would prefer it kind of hangs over. That would be nice. Uh, of course, you want the other direction. Okay. So I'm going to chop that one down. Let's see if I get lucky with this one. I will... I'll take that. Because I can still walk under that. Yeah, that's... It's kind of exactly what I wanted. I'm going to go ahead and tear this one down. These leaves are going to be great to have because I have been building palm trees in between episodes. I guess I forgot to mention that. That is something I did do in between episodes. I started making my own palm trees based off Eladrium's design. I really love, like I said, I love the way the palm trees turned out and I like how Eladrium used different leaf blocks. Those are oak leaves with the azalea leaves. And I just like the colors that were used. It looks really good. So I try to duplicate that on a smaller scale. So I do have a couple palm trees out there. So you can see the oak leaves, the azalea. And then I have this janky looking one over here. It looks good from this angle, but I think over from this side, uh, it doesn't look too great. So it looks good, looks good. And then when you get over to the desert temple, it looks a little droopy right there. It's kind of like, you know, what's that supposed to be? But uh, yeah, this one, this one definitely turned out good. And then I did put one more right there so i have been slowly decorating the base area at least in the established areas because i still want to put buildings down and i don't want to put random palm trees and then decide i need to tear them down just to put buildings there because palm trees are a bit of work to make so let's remove this and here we go get the bone meal please go in the right direction Let me remove these. Maybe that's preventing them from growing out. Come on. What are you doing? There we go. Uh, mm, it's not the direction I wanted it to go. Am I happy with that? I'm coming out of the portal. Yes, I think I'll take that. Because I guess if it did come swooping over this way, it would kind of block the view of the pyramid. And this one's kind of just right. We got the little sky gap right here from the leaves to the pyramid. That looks good. I think I'll keep that. I will keep that. Because at some point, I will have buildings here. So that will fill in nicely. So I think I, think I will keep that tree the way it is. For the perimeter of this area, I do want to use these bamboo trap doors because it would go good, I think, with the yellow glazed terracotta. And it adds that pop of color that's slightly different from the rest of the base area. And let's see here. Just like that. Place these down. And I guess I will end up disturbing the bunnies. I already disturbed one when I was counting it out. So I guess they don't want to hang out. Oh, looks like it just found another spot. <laughs> All right. There's that. I'm going to leave this open because this is going to be a staircase. And it's all good. I'm just going to come through real quick and place a couple things down. Okay, fine then. Be like that. And this is going to be the last section. It's about to be time to sleep again. I noticed once I broke the torch, it was a little dark. There we go. That's all in place. And yeah, that does look good like that and then of course i do need to cover this up we just don't want to see a bunch of obsidian we want this to be decorative as well but let me go ahead and sleep once again and then we will continue finishing this area up now for this what i'm going to do is place down some cut sandstone on both sides with the chiseled one in the middle orange terracotta and then i need to build myself up right here three blocks on top some smooth stairs, and we're going to carry this across. And then for the back, what I'm going to do is I should have enough. Perfect. Got that. And actually, I don't have enough. Let me go ahead and break. Do I have enough? 
Once I break these down? No, because that's only going to make one pillar on this side, I think. Yeah, just one. And then a partial of the other. Do I have any other? I do not, but that'll be easy because we have the handy dandy stone cutter. And how many did I need? I think three. And we'll do five. You never know. I may need an extra for whatever reason. And for the back, because it's the back, you have to keep in mind that the portal is going to be here. So the only time you'll really see the decoration in the back is when you're down here. Which I'm probably going to be the only one that's going to be down there. But uh, I'll know it's here. I'm going to place a block here. Like that. Just to keep in theme with what I've done with the desert temple over there. I think I did that correct order, right? Orange in the corners, blue in the center. Yeah. So that's done. And I do need to put something there. And then I forgot the stairs. Oh, I guess I did need more <laughs> for these spots right here. I knew it. I knew I was going to need more. Now that I think about it, this whole section was supposed to be one block forward. So this pillar was supposed to be here. The nether portal was supposed to be here. That way I could decorate the side of this so you didn't have to look at this ugly obsidian just randomly sticking out. I guess I'm going to tear it down real quick and move the whole thing one block forward. All right, that is fixed. So now the sides of the portal are going to be on the inside of it, which means I can go ahead and do this. And this is what I was originally intending to do to hide it was something like that. And the same to this side. Yeah, that covers it quite nicely. Next, what I'm going to do is place some greenery on the outside, and I suppose I should probably put dirt down for that. So let's remove that. And do I want it to come out one more? No, I think that should be fine. Pick those slabs up. I can always use that later. Grab some dirt. Place dirt down. Whoops. That, that, and we'll do... A non-flowery one there, and a flower one there. Dang it. <laughs> I keep hitting the trap doors. So there's that side. Now all I need to do is fill in all four corners, and this area will be done. All corners are now filled in with bushes, and then what I started to do was place in decorated pots with azalea leaves on top just to be little planters here. And then I'm going to do the same to this side. I'm not going to use any flowered ones for this because we do have the flowered azalea leaf blocks in the tree itself. I'm just going to keep it regular azalea leaves just for the greenery. And that can probably stay there because I need some bushes in there also. And that's kind of the bummer about being in the desert is I use the moss blocks to keep it green because you can see the grass is just a little more yellow out here in the desert. And I wanted this to be as green as possible, but I totally forgot that the grass blades are also going to have that yellow color to it. So I can work with that. It's not a big deal, but it'd just be nice if I can have some green, green grass as well. And I don't think I have any more of the azalea trees. I'll probably place in a couple of azalea trees as well. Now what I want to do is incorporate the sandstone back into this because the only sandstone that you can see here, and don't get me wrong, I really love this palette, but I want to incorporate sandstone into it. So what I'm thinking is placing down some sandstone benches in between these planters like this. And I think that really completes the garden look that I'm going for. So we'll do this side as well. Just kind of break it up and yeah, it goes really good because this whole time I have been using the terracotta with the sandstone. So naturally I felt like that was gonna work out well. And so far this is all coming together. I just need to put a couple more things here. Like I said, I'll grab some azalea trees place them there just to break it up a little bit. And then, of course, the final piece is going to be my little pond that I'm going to place right here. So I do believe there is a swamp out in this direction, and I need some lily pads. Yep, there's the swamp. Now I just need to find some lily pads. There are plenty. I'm just going to go ahead and dive in right here. Lots of mud as well. So I think I just need about three... I could have sworn I had some. I just don't know where they went. 
There's a broken one there. That's probably me from last time I was over here. It's been a while. But last time I came through here was with a boat when I was grabbing some sheep. You know what? I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but I've seen this a few times already. When I come into areas with these tropical fish, they kind of just get stuck and spin in a circle like they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, so weird. A couple of them are swimming in the background, but that is one thing I have noticed. So it's kind of funny to see. They're just you know, swimming around in a circle. But let me go ahead and grab a few more lily pads, and then I will head back over to my base area. I'm back at the base area. The water is placed in. The bunny is also back on the corner, it looks like. Any more? Any more showed up? Nope. So, this is ready to go, and this splash of blue in here looks really nice. The only concern I had was when you walk out of the portal, you kind of almost run right into it, but hopefully this is a big of enough gap. Five block gap, six block gap, technically, we can walk out of the, the portal to kind of walk around it. <laughs> but what I want to do now is place down these flowered azalea leaf blocks just to add some color to the water. And then uh, what should I do first? Let's do seagrass. I'm going to place seagrass down here. And I think I can bone meal the seagrass, right? I think I have a few left. Yes. No. No, I cannot. Okay. So I will need a little bit more seagrass. But before I do, I'm going to grab the lily pads and place these kind of randomly. And I guess these stay the same color also. They don't lose their color in the desert, so that's nice. And maybe one more right there. Now, this is going to be the tricky part. So I really like the way the small drip leaf looks. And when I was playing with this in creative, it took a few tries to place it down. So I don't know if it's actually going to take. And I think I I think you have to bone meal these. I haven't really played around with the small drip leaves, but I think you have to bone meal these to make them big drip leaves. And I don't want that because I like the texture of these. So hopefully I can just Oh, sweet. Okay. Place it down just like that. That's nice. I do like that because it just gives that extra little texture to the water. And these look really nice. And these are super hard to find too. I Kind of have a lush cave biome way over there somewhere. But as you can tell, I've only rounded up a few of these. So I was kind of worried that I would burn these before I actually got it down. But that works out. And maybe repositioning these just slightly. Maybe right here. And then this one back. Something like that. And I definitely want more seagrass at the bottom, which I don't have any shears at the moment, I don't think. Everything but shears. So I do want to add a little bit more seagrass. And I am happy that this was able to go down. That was kind of just like the, the, main, the main piece of my little pond here. So I'm happy that went down. Let me go ahead and grab a little bit more seagrass and try to fill this in just a bit more. The rest of the seagrass is placed in, and I did move the small drip leaf over to the left side because I just remembered, and I'm still trying to debate if I want to do it, but this is where my beacon was, and I'm thinking, I just don't know if it will be in the way, but I want to place my beacon underground and just kind of have it blasting straight through the center of the pond. I think that should look okay. I do have the option available. It'll go right through the leaf block. And then I can keep that, you know, transparent. It'll just be a hole all the way down. Probably place a green glass block under there just to kind of hide it or brown or something. But then I walk out. Big old beam right there. Pyramids to the left and the right. And I'm still debating if I want to put a third pyramid out there just to fill in the rest of that. I was thinking about a palm tree, a bigger one, but I'm not sure just yet. I feel like I need something there, and maybe a third pyramid in the background might be the answer, just to fill the rest of that skyline in. But for the most part, this area is pretty much done, except for what I wanted to do was remove these and replace these with terracotta for the trim of the pond.
And I just thought about it as I was breaking this torch. I don't have any light sources here. I did not I did not consider what I would do for light sources. Maybe some lanterns? That should work. Yeah, I think lanterns should work. But there's that. A little terracotta trim going around the pond. And also, I don't know if you saw, I did add a few more decorated pots right here. This time using the flowered azalea leaf blocks. Just because it's not hanging out under the tree itself. So just to add that little bit of color right there. And I think I have myself, for the most part, minus the lights, I have myself a little nether portal garden area. Now that I have the nether portal moved over on the overworld, it's time for me to move this one. That way they are all synced up. So I actually need to be at, I believe, 234, negative 107, which is going to bring me into the lava, of course. And I wonder how deep this is. Okay. It's like one block deep. 234, right here. And how dangerous is this going to be for me? I am holding a totem in my hand just to be on the safe side. It looks like it's its own little room. That's kind of nice. Okay. Yeah, that, that will work perfectly. Uh, I probably should block off this side, though. How do I get back up? Because I'm not wearing my gold armor at the moment, even though I probably should be. Let me just plug... Uh, okay. <laughs> that made me panic just for a quick second so I can't be seen from that side and you know what let's just go ahead and let's do this I'm not jumping off anything I'm not trying to fly anywhere like I did in the other episode so hopefully you know I'm not just plunging right into lava randomly so this needs to go to 107 right oh one block too far but right here okay now I'm deciding if I'm going to keep this little hallway right here, which I think I will. So what I think I'm going to do is I want this to be a straight shot. I'm going to have to dig through here to negative 107, and then my portal will just be right around the corner on the right over there. Okay, the sketchy nether portal is placed down, and it's surrounded completely by lava. Especially on this side, one bad step, and uh, I'm in trouble here. So for the time being, I'm just going to put up this little dirt wall like this. So at least I know which way I'm going, and then I step out. That should be fine. I am concerned about this slightly, especially if I come in wearing my elytra, because this kind of lets me know that most likely piglins can spawn on this, and that's not okay. Because there's just too much lava around for anything to happen here. So I'm going to need to slap this ASAP. Now, let me go ahead and light this because I do need to go back through. And I'm assuming I'm just going to come through my portal over on that side because it's close enough. So let's see here. Let's get to safety. Hopefully. Okay. I have come back through this portal, and now I can go ahead and break this one. So let's do that. Boom. And then I have my gold chest plate on. So I cannot fly over. Thankfully, it's not over lava that I'm trying to, you know, just jump into. So that's good. Now we come back over here. We're going to light this portal up. Go on through. This should be synced up perfectly with the other one. And all right, we come out of the sketchy nether portal. Perfect. Now, this is going to be the fun part. Going through the portal, coming out into the garden for the first time. So let's see how this is going to look. Hopefully I'm facing the correct direction, not looking at the back of it. Yeah, that's nice. Except my pyramids need to load in. <laughs> but, yeah, this is this is a nice little view here. I'm happy with that. So, what I'm going to do, and it's probably going to be in between episodes, 
Uh, I'm going to have to build up the other side so it's a little bit safer for me to walk through to go in and out of because I really don't like all the lava that I'm surrounded by. And like I said, I have some, looks like some spawning points for some piglins. I need to get rid of that. So I'm going to at least tunnel myself for the time being, uh, build around it just so I can walk through. I don't have to see any lava. And what I'll do in the meantime is start planning out a proper nether tunnel that goes to my base area. So I did the one that goes to the Halloween district, but now I need one for my base area. And I was holding off on planning it because I did want to do this. I just wasn't sure exactly where it was going to go. But now that I have the official portal going to my base area, I can now decorate my nether tunnel. And I'm going to have to go to the drawing board for that. I have some ideas of what I'd like to do, but I just need to work some things out and hopefully... It will turn out as good as I think it will. I think with that, this is going to be a great place to end the episode. It's a little bit different. I know I don't really show myself building because it seems like all I do is do all of my building in between episodes. And then I just kind of give you a recap. But I thought for this episode, I would go ahead and actually do a building type episode. So took a little break from doing the farms, took a little break from doing everything else. And we just had a kind of a nice chill building session here for this episode this is the final product i do have the lights in place and this is looking good especially with eladrium's palm trees hanging over everything just to kind of walk around a little bit just to take it all in this looks great i didn't consider however the pyramids needing to generate in but that's totally okay because you know we know they're there and just looking up when you come out yeah, the palm trees definitely fill in the skyline perfectly. So this is great. This is really great. And with that, everyone, this is going to be the end of today's episode. I really hope you all enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I will see you later.